what if your mom does have breast cancer? What can they really do to help her? I'm not exactly sure yet. I think I'll have to go home and do my homework on this one. Can you go to the Deaf Agency or some other organization and get more information? Oh, sure. I know there are lots of treatments out there. I need to find out the pros and cons of each one and discuss it with her doctor. As in the case of the steps involved in diagnosis, the first and most important thing every woman should do is be sure that she has identified a doctor that she trusts and who understands her needs for getting complete information and having her questions answered and being involved in all decisions. The medical team may grow and change if treatment for breast cancer is needed. It is very important to follow the principle of open communication we have talked about in this program. Use this DVD as a first step in understanding the possible treatment options that may be offered if breast cancer is diagnosed. In general, there are two surgical options for treating breast cancer, lumpectomy and mastectomy. In both of these procedures, your surgeon will attempt to remove all of the cancerous tissue. But lumpectomy and mastectomy each have advantages and disadvantages that you need to discuss with your doctor before you both decide which treatment you should have. In a lumpectomy, the cancerous tumor is removed along with the surrounding border of normal healthy breast tissue. Usually, but not always, the surgeon will remove the underarm lymph nodes. One of the advantages of a lumpectomy is that even though the tumor is removed, much of the breast still remains. However, you should understand that the shape of the breast might not look the same as it did before. Some women ask for this option in order to preserve their breast. But if the breast cancer is more advanced or too large, a lumpectomy may not be an option.
once the lumpectomy is done, your doctor wants to be assured that the cancer is all gone. Therefore, a lumpectomy is almost always followed by radiation therapy. This is a procedure in which x-rays are used to destroy any remaining cancer cells in the breast or underarm areas. Radiation therapy usually lasts approximately six weeks and involves going into the doctor's office daily for treatment. Initially, the machinery is placed over the patient. Crosshatch marks are used to measure and isolate the treatment area. Small tattoo marks are made to make the procedure more efficient. The machine can then be placed in the exact same location for the remainder of the treatment. Every day, the patient will go to the doctor's office to receive radiation treatment for about six weeks. Radiation therapy destroys the remaining cancer cells, but it can also affect other tissues. It can cause changes in the feel of the skin and may cause irritation, breast tenderness, or soreness. Although these changes usually disappear, some effects may last for as long as a year after radiation therapy is completed. Although women are able to continue regular activities during radiation treatment, Many report feeling tired, especially toward the end of the five to six weeks of treatment. A lumpectomy may not be appropriate for all breast cancers, especially those in which the tumor is large or where the cancer is in multiple sites in the breast. Discuss with your doctor to see what options, including a lumpectomy, would be appropriate for you. I just explained the lumpectomy procedure. The second surgical option is a mastectomy. In this procedure, the entire breast and sometimes the underarm lymph nodes are removed. Some women may require radiation therapy after surgery. You should sit down with your doctor to discuss your options.
Sometimes your doctor will recommend removal of all your underarm lymph nodes in a procedure that is called axillary lymph node dissection. This is to prevent any of the cancer cells hiding in the lymph nodes from remaining in the body after the surgery. There are some side effects that can occur as a result of this procedure. One possible side effect is nerve damage. This could mean loss of sensation or possibly loss of movement in your arm. This did not happen to all women, but it is a potential side effect. A second possible side effect of the lymph node removal is persistent and often painful arm swelling, which is called lymphedema. A lumpectomy followed by radiation therapy to the underarm lymph node areas seems to make lymphedema more likely. Doctors try to decrease the risk of lymphedema and nerve damage by performing what is called a sentinel lymph node biopsy. In this procedure, only a few key lymph nodes are removed and tested first. More nodes are then removed as needed until the doctor feels confident that all the cancer has been removed. Talk to your doctor to see which procedure is right for you. If you experience any problems with lymphedema or possible nerve damage, your doctor may recommend that you see a physical therapist. Both lumpectomy and mastectomy each have their own advantages and disadvantages. You should carefully consider these in making your treatment decisions. Whatever treatment or options are recommended Make sure to communicate with your doctors so that you understand what tests and procedures will be done and why. Work together with your health care providers to ensure you understand everything clearly.
Once the mastectomy has been done, many women feel emotional and upset, even devastated. However, there are options for restoring the breast shape. Some women choose to wear an artificial breast. There are several kinds available for you to buy, and a woman can choose the one that fits her best. This is called a prosthesis or an artificial breast. Some women choose to have breast reconstruction, which is done in the operating room. In this procedure, a surgeon builds a new breast shape, either by using an implant or the woman's own tissue, skin, fat, and muscle taken from her back or stomach to recreate a new breast shape. Reconstructive surgery can be done either immediately after the mastectomy, or it can be done at any later time. The patient can decide when they are ready for the procedure. Since the mastectomy has removed the nipple as well as the breast, it may also be possible to have the nipple reconstructed as well. It's important to realize that you are not getting a new breast that is the exact replacement. It is rather a breast shape. And while some feeling may return, most women have no sensation in the reconstructed breast.